what is going on everybody my name is german welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here please leave a like and subscribe and let's get this video started so today's video is going to be a pretty interesting topic so i'm going to discuss who i think the part 2 lr is going to be for this amazing golden week celebration yeah no we we know we know it's shit trust um Without further ado, let's just get into it. I have last year's Part 2 LR pulled up here. Obviously, our boys LR, Goku, and Gohan. This was a Dokkan original unit. So, what I mean by Dokkan original means a lot of these animations and a lot of these moments are strictly fan-made. Basically, Dokkan made them up. So, a very cool option. Uh, and also, a pretty cool option as to what they can do with this year's Part 2 LR. So, they came out on May 13th. It is currently May 10th as of this recording and i think tonight tonight around 3 a.m we should get the animations and we should get these characters out there the animations everything uh twitter details it should either be tonight or tomorrow night and then after that data download and then the character will officially release so here are i only have four characters that i think could actually fairly be have a decent chance of being the part 2 lr Obviously, this is just me, my guess, my thinking. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, Demon King Piccolo, I think, has a very high chance of being the Part 2 LR. I would honestly say this guy maybe has the second best chance. Second? He's either first or second place as to who has the best chance of being the summonable LR. Um, preferably, if it is Demon King Piccolo, we would get young Demon King Piccolo. We do not need old Demon King Piccolo. Uh, this guy just easy aid and he's fairly solid. He's pretty good for an easy a character. Um, but you can see young demon King Piccolo is just in the mud. Unfortunately though, uh, I would prefer that young demon King Piccolo gets a Dokkan fest. A demon King Piccolo needs a Dokkan fest, not an LR. Uh, I would prefer that the boy gets a Dokkan fest, but, uh, some of the LR demon King Piccolo could work. There's a lot of animations that demon King Piccolo and a lot of attacks that demon King Piccolo has yet to do in good animations. So, I would probably say this guy has either the best or second best chance of being the summonable LR out of the four options that I'm going to be discussing today. Uh, also, let me know. Let me know in the comments who would you think is going to be the best part two LR. Personally, I'm going with these characters. Also, excuse me, I just ate <laughs> and had a little bit of spice, so I might talk a little bit weird. <laughs> um, next up is just piccolo uh piccolo jr i think also has a shot of being the part 2 lr i think if i were to be fair this guy would probably be either first or second place as well preferably the part 2 lr will be an lr who buffs piccolo jr so either demon king piccolo or piccolo jr would probably be the best options here uh if they were to do piccolo jr it would be a lot of his animations would probably be from the middle of his fight with goku during the 23rd world tournament because a lot of the final attacks that Piccolo does are already in this guy right here. Um, and we want it to be just base Piccolo Jr., not Piccolo Jr. Giant form. But I highly, highly doubt they would replace the new summonable T Dokkan Fest with a summonable LR two weeks later. They only do that for easy A's. So, shit, for all I know, maybe Piccolo is, maybe just regular Piccolo could get an, L an LR in two weeks. But obviously, the LR is going to follow the trend that they've been doing the past couple years. Uh, two years ago, it was Super 17. Uh, the theme for Golden Week was GT, and he's GT related. Last year, it was Goku and Gohan and Cell, and they did an Android size Cell Saga buff. So my expectation is, at bare minimum, at at the smallest bare minimum chance, this character is going to be DB Saga or World Tournament. Those two categories are almost a either. Well, it could be either or. I think World Tournament almost 100% will be one of these characters' categories. So. This kind of does softly take out one character that I'm going to discuss here in a little bit. But Piccolo Jr., uh, as long as he buffs... Again, I'm thinking more in buffs of Piccolo Jr. So if Piccolo Jr. gets the LR, it would be very helpful for this guy's team. Uh, Piccolo Jr. himself is is an amazing unit. He I used him on stream yesterday. By the way, follow the Twitch as well down in the description. I used him and... He's insane, right? But the issue is the team around him isn't really working well because he, the coolers and all these characters on 170% leads kind of do get a little bit frauded out. They're still very good, but they're not working well with Piccolo. So a Piccolo Jr. would honestly be the best. Maybe best case scenario too, they just bring back this guy. <laughs> He's a boosted character for the current chain battle. So, you know, 
you know, <laughs> maybe we can give our boys to come back. The next character that I'm going to be discussing is Goku. Uh, obviously not adult Goku. It'll be Kid Goku. Because again, I highly doubt that they will replace the new Dokkan Fest Goku with another base form Goku from the 23rd World Tournament. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I think highly likely if Goku is to be the part 2 LR, it'll be Kid Goku or Great Ape Kid Goku. 100% though, if I were to be serious, I would probably go for uh, just regular Kid Goku getting an LR. This moment right here, uh, Goku finishing off Demon King Piccolo could be a summon of LR by its own. This animation is 4 years old. They could do way much better stuff now. So, uh, My personal one pick would probably be Demon King Piccolo, but this guy is probably third. Fourth is the next character we're going to talk about because the next character is like insane. Like, this is like the least hype imaginable pick. And if they do it, they might just outright ruin the celebration. But there is a possibility. I just want to let you guys know there's a possibility that this character could get an LR and it'll probably ruin the hype of the celebration. Which, I mean, right now there really isn't much. So, uh, Kid Goku, I think him finishing off Demon King Piccolo, they could do LR Great Ape Kid Goku, but the issue is, uh, He's not on Goku's 200% team, and I'm assuming if they were to do a Kid Goku, they would want him to be on the 200% for uh, the new Dokkan Fest Goku. So, this guy is on Battle of Fate and <clears throat> Earthbred Fighter, so he would get the 200% from the new Goku. And then Great Ape Kid Goku, unfortunately, just doesn't get it. Um, I'm not too sure. Would they to do this from the P-Law Saga? Because I think this guy is from the P-Law Saga. But this guy is not on Battle of Fate. But let me just actually open him up and check real fast. I also don't have this guy, by the way. Yeah, he's not on Battle of Fate. So they don't count Pilaf as Battle of Fate. So think of it as you will. I Great Ape Kid Goku also has a shot. It would help because Great Ape Kid Goku is just dead. But I And Kid Goku does have a stacked character right here. So they could do LR Kid Goku. Personally, I would prefer they don't. But it is a possibility. And now number four, I'm going to go back to Doe Comforters because I want to explain why I think number four could this character could genuinely be an LR. So I saw a post on the Dokkan Reddit, and I'm gonna I'm gonna link it down in the description below for this video. They were talking about this. Uh Piccolo Jr. got a character, right? Goku got a character to celebration. You know who hasn't gotten a character to celebration? And is 23rd World Tournament and is after Goku and Piccolo's fight. That's right, boys. I'm going to be discussing the possibility of LR Chi Chi. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be very fair when I say this. I do not want this. I, I don't want this. I don't, I don't, I don't. And I pray that they are not cooking this up right now. But let's talk about the possibility that LR Chi Chi could come. Preferably, if it were to be this character, I would rather it be Goku and Chi Chi. I think the moment they would use is Goku and Chi Chi getting married. Uh, and then the little final arc, that the filler final arc of Dragon Ball where they go to uh, uh, other world and they meet Grandpa Gohan. They could take animations from that. I would prefer they don't go with Chi Chi, but I need to talk about that. This character does have a possibility of being of being here so looking at Chi Chi she's pretty dead I mean Chi Chi's dead in general this EZA is decent on peppy gals but that's about it she used to be okay when she first came out and then Kid Chi Chi we're, we're gonna completely ignore Kid Chi Chi they'll if they're going to do LR Chi Chi it'll be either this will be the name of the characters either Goku and Chi Chi or just Chi Chi I do think that Goku and Chi Chi getting married uh could be an interesting choice however we look at the existing Goku and Chi Chi character in the game. Uh, they don't really have a lot of good categories. And they wouldn't be on any of the 200% leader skills right now. So I'm just saying this because there is a shot. I, I guess there is a shot. Uh, personally, don't. Please, Dokkan. We, we need hype. We need peak. We need something. <laughs> we, listen, this week has been dead. So... Without further ado, here's how I would rank them if I were to be serious. I would probably do this. One, two, three, and four. So, Piccolo Jr. himself will probably be the best help that Piccolo Jr. can get because Goku will always get help. Goku is a Saiyan character. And looking at his team, 
uh he has options with them right like if i pull up in the game goku's category right here let me actually get it open but like if i do that uh goku has options on his team right there's there's no shortage of goku getting sorry i have to pull up the category but there's no shortage of goku not getting buffed in the future right goku will continually get buffs to his team and goku will work very well because he's a saiyan he's a saiyan and he has saiyan lineage that's it that's all you need to be a decent linking character but if we take a look at piccolo jr's team uh our boy is kind of in a really bad position so this is piccolo jr's category and as you can see there isn't really much they could release in the dragon ball saga so if i go by extreme class which will probably be the lr hopefully demon king piccolo doesn't really link they have the dragon ball saga links but that's about it uh and then every other character in this top screen has nothing to do with dragon ball so <laughs> they're not gonna just randomly they, they could i mean i don't want to say never because never say never at this point now dokkan has proven that um they could just randomly drop like another lr cooler <laughs> imagine that um no, i'm just kidding so piccolo jr would probably be the only character that would truly work i don't have the agl there's the str one piccolo jr would work out the best because he has big bad bosses then the dragon ball saga links and i'm assuming this lr would have fierce battles so that's personally my opinion i think piccolo jr would probably be the best pick but it could be demon king piccolo i would accept demon king piccolo preferably if they didn't do kid goku i would be okay and this is just like a pipe dream this listen if they do this they legit i, I think they actually just straight up ruin the celebration if they do lr chi chi in any form but i wanted to talk about the possibility because yes it is very possible they could just do goku and chi chi so I don't know. I just wanted to discuss this. Apart from this, I do have last year's Golden Week celebration as well. There is going to be an LREZA about two weeks from now, which will conclude the celebration and will interest to the next Dokkan Fest. Um, going back in game, <coughs> excuse me. I cannot think of a character that can EZA off the top of my head from this. I'm assuming it'll be an LR because we already had our EZA TUR. Um, but just looking at this. Who could they really easy A from this list? Like, just looking at all these characters, like, there really isn't much. They did easy A Piccolo, so just sort of looking at all the characters they could easy A, there's actually nothing. Like, let me um, sort this as well by the two categories. So we're going to do Goku first. Who will help out Goku the best? Uh, looking at these characters, <laughs> I mean, they could just, I mean, they could just drop this on JP finally, but it's a shared celebration. They have done JP exclusive content, obviously, LR Krillin. And we should be getting the new Super Battle stages, so I don't think this guy is still close to being easy aid, but we are going to be getting the Vegeta family support memory. Yeah, I, I cannot see a character that would easy A during this. An LR that would easy A for Goku. And then if we go to Piccolo's category one more time. Um, I can't really see another one either. They could just easy A Mecha Frieza and King Cold, I guess. But that wouldn't make any sense. So, yeah, just taking a look at this. Maybe Vegeta and Nappa, but... There really isn't anything here that would show me a character can be easy. I am missing characters, obviously, <clears throat> but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, by the way. Uh, I know this week has been extremely, extremely dry. So I know you guys are ready for that sweet, sweet taste of content. Um, I think tonight, either tonight or tomorrow night, we should get the LR's reveal and we shall see who it is. Again, I am putting my hat in. I am putting my guess in the hat and I'm going to guess it's either Piccolo Jr. or Demon King Piccolo, preferably. Uh, but the LR Chi Chi fans, uh, <laughs> if you guys win, if you guys win, uh, accept your W. <laughs> uh, that's about it for me, guys, though. If you like the video, please go ahead and leave it a like and subscribe. I will be posting a video daily. Um, that's about it. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I still got to work on a good ending. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.